on the field from Santa Clara, California. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Santa Clara Vanguard. Since 1967, the Santa Clara Vanguard has built a worldwide reputation for excellence, innovation, and leadership. The Vanguard consistently ranks at the top of the competitive drum corps activity with six drum corps international world championship titles and 34 consecutive appearances in the world championship finals. But it's the way Santa Clara Vanguard has handled its success that has made it one of the most beloved drum corps ever. Ask its fans to describe the Vanguard in one word and you'll hear one word repeated again and again. Class. For if it's anything at all, Santa Clara Vanguard is the epitome of class. I think one of the things that many people kind of associate with Santa Clara is the classiness of the members. When I first saw Santa Clara, I got to see him Godwalk, and everyone I saw I thought was about nine feet tall. You know, big shoulders, Aussie. Just such a huge, powerful image. They're like rock stars out there. When the drum line goes up to warm up, it's just a mob of people there. In 1967, two years after forming as a drum and bell corps, the Santa Clara Vanguard evolved into one of the finest and most entertaining drum and bugle corps in history. Gail Royer, a local elementary music teacher and an American Legion judge, became the Vanguard's first director. One week later, the corps marched in and won its first parade, the San Francisco St. Patrick's Day Parade. Just six years later, the Vanguard won its first DCI World Championship title. But that was only the beginning of the evolution of the Vanguard. Fast forward just 13 years, 1980. While most drum and bugle corps were executing military-style field drills, Santa Clara's entire program was filled with asymmetrical forms that turned the drum corps community upside down and raised the artistic standards of the entire activity. People respect the Vanguard because of the uh, tradition, the excellence. There's, there's kind of a saying that you don't choose SCB, SCB chooses you. And in every video I watched when I went and saw them at the San Antonio show, there's just, SCB is who I wanted to march with. I mean, it's just, there's something about it, you know? Maybe it's the Aussie, the star uniform. I remember seeing them at a standstill in Idaho in 2000, and I was just totally blown away by the performance and I decided that day that that's where I wanted to be. The electricity in the air and the excitement when the Vanguard takes the field is just an exciting moment. Moto Perpetuo, Drum Corps International, proud to present the Santa Clara Vanguard. I think of Drum Corps as, as a, a step up from marching band. Um, it's it's an opportunity for 135 people to take the field and, and work together as a team. There's a lot of people who just think, and it, it could be my fault, and the other people who don't explain it very well, oh, it's professional marching band, and they'll be like, oh, I'm not, it's not worth my time, I know what marching band's like, and so they don't get the opportunity to experience it. What I tell them is, 
come to a show. Because you, you can't really explain in words what we do. You really just have to see it. Consisting of brass, percussion, and color guard, the prime age for participation in the vanguard is 14 to 22, but the activity itself extends throughout age groups younger and older. Local competitions are staged in high school football stadiums, while major regional and world championships take place in large university or NFL stadiums. The cores are judged on general effect as well as visual and musical performance. Every year, Santa Clara Vanguard prepares a new show and hones and refines that program throughout the entire summer tour, building momentum with each show and each rehearsal and peaking at the last performance of the season, the DCI World Championships. Why do I do this? It's hard to answer. You meet so many people. I've gained great friends, like I'm gonna have friends forever. They've taught me to excel at everything that I do in my life and to be the best at everything that I do. And It's really shaped me as a person and I've learned so much and I learn something new every time I come here, you know. People say, oh, you know, you're, you're the old guy, you know everything, you know, you know the routine, but, you know, sometimes I still feel like a rookie, you know. The members, I hope that they feel they get the best experience possible. There are days that they love what we're doing. There are days that they work extremely hard. And hopefully every day throughout the summer, they feel that their time is appreciated. The experiences that you get from it are just amazing. I mean, you get pushed so far. Most people think we're crazy when we tell them how much we rehearse. They think it's ridiculous. It, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's hot. You're tired, your feet are sore, your back hurts. When it comes time to put on the uniform and perform, it doesn't matter. Performing a great show and when everybody feels it, it's wonderful. It's the best feeling ever. Financial burden and the dedication required, well that's never in doubt for members of the Vanguard. They know their sacrifices will bring many rewards. And some of those rewards simply cannot be measured. We had just finished our show, The Copper Star, and we had the opportunity to sit on the back side of the field to watch the, the rest of the Div 1 chorus perform. We stand there and the drum line pulls off in the pit and the color guard and they sit down in front. All of a sudden they started playing clowns. when it hit me, like, everything stopped. There's something here that a lot of the, the older members talk about, how you're chosen to be a member of the Santa Clara Vanguard. You don't choose Vanguard, Vanguard chooses you. And I felt that night that Gail and the several other thousand people who'd been through this organization were telling me, you belong here. You need to come out. You need to be here. When I talk to people who've already aged out, the first thing that they say is they wish they were still marching or they wish they could go back. It just shows you that your time here is precious and valuable and it goes too fast. I would give anything to put back on this, the uniform, the Aussie and the star and to hold my trumpet. Santa Clara Vanguard, 40 years of tradition, prestige, and respect. 40 years of class. <laughs>